the shortest distance to the point half comma one from the curve y equal to mod of x minus one plus mod of x plus one is think about the point half comma one right? from the point half comma one to this point let's put half into this if you put x equal to half modulus of half minus one plus modulus of half plus one so this is one by two plus three by two y should be two half comma two there's a point on this line it seems to be a very interesting curve y will be entirely positive that much we know i'm going to imagine and draw this curve even if it takes a while this is going to be y is entirely positive it's going to be a set of straight lines i'm going to put a bunch of values let's say we put x equal to zero then y will be 2, 0, 2. When x equal to 1, when we put x equal to 1, we'll have 1 minus 1, 0, 1 plus 1, 2, 1, comma 2 is a point. x equal to minus 1, that will be a point here. And so, x equal to 1 by 2 half minus 1 is modulus is 1 by 2 3 by 2 y equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 that will also be a point so think about this a wonderful graph and so i'm going to break this into three segments and when x is greater than 1 this will be x minus 1 plus x plus 1 we're talking about 2x when x is less than minus 1 this will be 1 minus x minus 1 minus x it will be minus 2x and so this will be a line like this here and a line like this here between minus 1 and 1 it will be 1 minus x plus x plus 1 it will be 2 so there's a point like this it is 2 from minus 1 to 1 and then a, a curve with step 2x here and a slope of plus 2 here slope of minus 2 here curves going up you're looking at a point half comma 1 so half comma 1 the shortest distance will be this perpendicular distance which will be one unit draw the graph the key points here if you're given just modulus you're going to deal with straight lines keep that in mind best way to go about it find points find the scenarios where put x equal to 0 and see if y can be 0 we can see where it meets the x-axis whenever you have modulus break it along the modulus lines what do i mean by that x greater than 1 x less than minus 1 between minus 1 and 0 f of x equal to mod x this means f of x equal to x when x is greater than 0 equal to minus x when x is less than 0 equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 you can put either of this as greater than or equal to or less than or equal to read imagine that modulus equation like that reconstruct that and then you're through anytime you have only modulus come in remember you're dealing with a set of straight lines that is very crucial that helps imagine the diagram you put a bunch of points you can connect them with straight lines and we are good